guys. Good evening. Hi, Freddy. How's it going? Teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? Doing great. Doing great, Freddy. Thank you very much for asking. And thank you very much for being a part of Inglés Corporativo. My name is Alejandro Narbona at your services. How are you today, sir? Well, well, I have a good day. All is okay in my job, um, in my house. I feel so good and ready to, to learn something new. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So you are in the right place. I'm, I'm super happy to hear that you're doing great. And that's good because you're going to have a great attitude. So I like that. Thank All you, right, Freddy. As far as a quick recap, do you remember which, one were, which ones were yesterday's and Thursday's yes. topic? Well, um, yesterday we were talking about um, future, present, continuous. All right. And the last Tuesday, mm -hmm. we, were, we were talking about... Um, Thursday, the last Thursday. Oh, yeah. The last Thursday, we talked about uh, future, present. Future, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, sorry. Future, mm -hmm. sorry. perfect. <laughs> All right, very good. And yes. do you have any questions with those topics? It's clear for me. Okay. Yes, and right now I was watching uh, the topic Mixed, mixed Conditional, mm -hmm. and I think that I got it. Okay, very good. Yes. So, let, hey, what's up? How's it going? So, we got Rodrigo. And we got Evelyn. So, well, thank you very much, Freddy. Thank you very much for checking the topic before the class. Before the class. Now we will be now able to talk about mixed conditionals, all right? So, guys, let me go ahead and share the screen with you so we can get it done. Here it is. Let's go ahead and pay attention to this and read with me, please. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Uh-huh, very good. By the end, everybody, I want everybody to participate, all right? By the end okay. of this section, participants will be able to understand and use conditional. By the right. end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use mixed conditional. Mixed conditional, very good. So now I need a volunteer to read, please. Go ahead. Lesson objective. 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 Mm -hmm. By the end of this section, participants will be able to understand and use mixed conditionals. Mixed. Mixed. Uh -huh. Mixed conditionals. Mixed. All right. Very good. So, guys, um, do you have any idea of what a conditional is? No. Uh, we use two or more conditionals. <laughs> well, maybe just two. Yeah, yeah, we use two yeah, conditionals. But what is a conditional? Do you have? Cool, yeah. cool. Okay, yeah, sometimes we use more verbs for those. Now, in order for us to clarify some doubt, let's go ahead and play the video. Pause, uh, I'm sorry, pause. Mute your microphones and we're gonna play it, all right? Okay. Microsoft microphones are on yet too. Okay. There we go. Hello, in this class we'll go over mixed conditionals. Stay and listen to the explanation. Mixed conditionals. Use had or hadn't plus past participle and would or wouldn't to talk about hypothetical events in the past that have effects on the present. If we hadn't been so nice, we would still have our cash. If someone had broken into your room, you would probably still be trying to get home. Conditional sentences are made up of if clauses and result clauses. In mixed conditional sentences, past and present are mixed to talk about hypothetical situations such as if she hadn't saved so little money, she would be able to afford a new car now. 
If you had made reservations, you wouldn't be looking for a hotel now. Let's take a look at these examples. If Anna hadn't forgotten her passport, she would be on the plane right now. If Anna were more organized, she wouldn't be looking for her keys now. Read the sentences again. Are the if clauses past, present, or future? Very good. They are in past. Are the result clauses past, present, or future? Perfect. They are in the present. Take note that in a mixed conditional sentence, the time of the event or situation in the if clause can be different from the time of the result of the event or situation. Have you ever had problems on vacation? Tell your partner and don't forget to share with us. Try using mixed conditionals. All right, very good guys. So, are mixed conditionals weird or difficult to you? And saved so little money. Uh-huh. Were you able to understand everything about mixed conditional guys? Yeah. Yeah, Freddy, Rodrigo, Evelyn, Lourdes. Oh, we have Miria, Vanessa, Eduardo. Good, good, good. All right, guys. So mixed conditionals, as you can see, we have a lot. We have mixed conditionals with past and present, past and future, present and past, present and future, future and past, future, present. Again, we are mixing tense. All right. Mm -hmm. However, don't worry. We're not going to get into all of this today. We're just going to work with the ones with past and past present. And okay. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and, and follow up. Where is it? Here it is. Let's go ahead and follow up on this one, guys. In a second, I want to know where is it? What minute is it? Here. As you notice, we're going to have if, if clauses plus result clauses. Past and present are mixed to talk about a hypothetical situation. What, can, what do you understand with hypothetical? This has sup, uh, sup, uh, assumption. An assumption. Assumption. Uh -huh. An assumption. You had a great idea. It's about something that we are not sure even even if it's in the past or in the future okay so if she hadn't saved so little money is this in past or present past yes past. she would be able to afford a new car now present present right. exactly if you had made reservations past past did she make the reservations? No, she didn't. She didn't, right? If you had made reservations, it's because she didn't. You wouldn't be looking for a hotel now, past or present. 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 Exactly. Present. Is the present. So pretty much we're talking about something that didn't happen in the past and would be affecting these, uh, the present. So what do you think the structure is? If plus subject plus had or hadn't plus past participle. All right? So let's get okay. some practice right here. How do you say, and this, this <laughs> Perdón. If I hadn't buy that old. Uh -huh. uh, if, if I didn't uh, buy Which is the question? But if I hadn't bought. I haven't bought. Uh -huh. If old. I. Just remember. I, if just. Plus. Had. Plus past participle. Right? Plus complement. This is the first clause. If I hadn't 
Buy or bought? Bought. bought. Why? Is past participle. Is mm -hmm. the past participle, right? If I hadn't bought that old car, no anduviera en buja ahorita. Mm -hmm. So, okay. pay attention here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be in the bus right now. I wouldn't. I wouldn't on bus. <laughs> I wouldn't be riding a bus. Ride. I wouldn't be taking I wouldn't the bus. Riding the bus. So let me ask. Let's. Prepare. I wouldn't be traveling by bus. That's another one. I wouldn't be traveling by bus. I wouldn't be riding the bus. Uh huh. That's another way of saying it, Lydia. Good job. So. Say with me, if I hadn't bought that old car, I would be I wouldn't be riding the bus. If I hadn't bought that old car, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be riding the bus. If I hadn't bought that old car, I wouldn't be riding the bus. Exactly. So let me ask you something. Did I buy the old car? No. Yes. Yes, ah. I did. Yes. Yes, I did. Do I ride the bus right now? Yeah. Yes, no. I do. <laughs> because the car is so old. Exactly. So, how do you say se, se arruina a cada momento? Uh, it breaks down. It breaks down. It breaks down. Mm -hmm. it breaks down all it the time. It breaks down all the time. All right. Very good. Yeah. Now, guys, how do you say... Si hubiera estudiado inglés antes. I studied English. If I, 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 I studied English. English. Had, yeah. uh -huh, let's go ahead and follow the structure. If I had studied English before. Before. Let me, let me change my idea because I was going to say something, but I, I don't like it. <laughs> no me... Guys, al, uh, alguien tiene un ping ahí que está sonando. All right. Tal vez lo tienen eh, conectado en algún tipo de messenger, some sort of messenger. So be careful with that, please. So, si hubiera estudiado inglés antes, no estuviera desvelándome ahorita. <laughs> <laughs> if, what is the structure for the for the next clause? Subject plus would or a negative, right? Plus. If I have, if I have mm -mm. studied, I wouldn't English please. before. Uh huh. I wouldn't be. <laughs> I don't know how do you say me. There you go. I'm, I'm going to tell you. So, if I had it, sorry, if I had studied English before, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't uh -huh, I wouldn't, be, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be, stay away. <coughs> sorry, guys. Give me a second. I'm okay. I'm still alive. <clears throat> All right. I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I wouldn't be here right now. Because... Sorry. Ah. <laughs> right now, guys, we are going to use a continuous form because of what I'm asking you to translate, right? To stay up is desvelarse. <clears throat> stay up. Stay up. Stay up. So I wouldn't be. <clears throat> stay. Stay or staying? Stay. 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 Stay up. We cannot Stay have up. two verbs together, guys. Okay. We cannot Teacher, have two verbs I only together. want to have to make a correction in the Spanish mm -hmm. form. Mm -hmm. Because if you have hubiera, you have to have habría. Si hubiera estudiado antes, 
no tendría que estarme desvelando ahora. It's a conditional mm -hmm. for Spanish. All right, what, what did I say? Hubiera, hubiera. Okay. So. It's, excuse me, it's, it's because arr, I am so <laughs> about the Spanish. I understand your point. Nina. Yes. Yeah. Si yo hubiera ahorrado suficiente, estaría viajando por el mundo. Okay. okay. That's, the, that's the point. If you have hubiera, is ia in the next verb. Verb form. All right. I kind of understand. Do we all understand this? Because I want It's make... Spanish. I'm sorry. No, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Normally, in this one, <clears throat> we use... Hubiese. Take a little water, teacher. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I I'm drinking water, but I don't know what's happening with my throat. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right. So, give me an example, please, Nidia. <clears throat> in Spanish, and that example in Spanish, we're going to translate it to English. What what in a sentence? Uh, you make make up one. Give me a sentence in Spanish, and then we change it to <clears throat> to. Okay. English. Si yo hubiera ahorrado suficiente dinero, estaría viajando por el mundo. Nunca es si yo hubiera guardado dinero, yo hubiera otra vez. No, no, no. O sea, ese es el punto que se dice. Right, yes. Very good. Si, yo That's hubiera, the point. si yo hubiera ahorrado suficiente dinero. Estaría viajando por el mundo. El resto. Habría está. viajado por el mundo. Estaría o habría. Anyway. All right. Estaría viajando por el. I can say estuviera or I can say hubiera. Okay. Si hubiera, habría, hubiera, estaría. Oh. <clears throat> Very good. So um, let's go ahead and translate this to English. Give me just a second. Just. I gotta drink water. My wife already yes. brought some water for me. It's water, teacher? Yes, I promise. <laughs> 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 it's, it's not crazy water. <laughs> I promise. <clears throat> That's why I love my wife. She always takes care of me. I listen. It. It's, right, it's so, water, teacher. <laughs> it's water, right? I promise. You. All right. So, si yo hubiera, estaría. That's your point, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right, very good. So, si yo hubiera estudiado inglés before, antes, yo estaría, yo no estaría desvelándome. Yes. Okay. And I was saying, habría, habría. O hubiera, habría. habría. All right, very good. Let me go ahead and try to get that on, on my chip. <clears throat> so, how do we say this in English? Thank you for the, for the information, Miriam. How do we say this in English? Si yo hubiera ahorrado suficiente, estaría viajando por el mundo. If I have saved, if I have saved money? Money, saved enough money, enough, very good, enough money, enough money, money, mm -hmm. enough money I would, I would travel. I would, I would be traveling, be traveling, traveling for the world, world. around the world. Around the world. It's travel or traveling? Traveling. Travel. Traveling. traveling. Mm -hmm. Why? Because Why we have be. And remember that we cannot have two verbs together. We either have a gerund, which is ing, or we either have a infinitive, which is two plus the verb. And that depends on the verb <clears throat> that you have right before. Mm -hmm. All right? So this is one of the mixed conditionals, guys. And you can use them to talk about the past and how that past is going to affect our present. Okay. Um, this action that I'm doing about, <clears throat> that is called clearing your throat. Okay. To clear your throat. And it's not something clear someone's throat. Okay. So that is to clear someone's throat. It's not something you want to do, all right? I consider that kind of rude when you're talking to people, so that's why my apologies, but it's, it's kind of hard to, to deal with, okay? Now, do you have any question about this that we are using right now, guys? 
fine. I'm fine. All right. It's clear for me. Okay, fantastic. Now remember, remember we have a lot, but really a lot of combinations, and that's what I was showing you before. But today we're just gonna work with past and present. Okay. okay. Give me a second. Now, how do you say, and uh, this is another one because we are just using, at least in these examples. <clears throat> Give me a second. We are using B, and that is the reason why we have ing in the next one because, as I mentioned before, we cannot have two verbs together. So on and on these couple of examples, in these couple of examples, we have something different. All right. So read it with me, please. If Anna hadn't forgotten her passport, her passport, she would be on the plane right now. All right. If Anna were more organized, she wouldn't be looking for her keys now. So what I wanted to pay attention is this: we are only using ing. Because what we have right, right, right before is B, and we cannot have two verbs together. But here, she would be, because we don't have any action, we don't use ing. Is that one clear, guys? Is the structure yeah. clear? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how do you say um, "abria"? Right, Nidia? Yes. Okay. Very good. Um, or "hubiera." The first is hubiera, and the second right. one is abría. Okay, okay, I'm, 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 I'm loving this thing right now. <laughs> All right, so hubiera, right? Oh, I gotta write it the down. The first one is hubiera, yes. All right, very good. So, si Ana no hubiera olvidado su, su cartera, right? Yes. Ella hubiera comprado. Abría. <laughs> down. I can't do this anymore. Let me write it down. So we got. Hubiera, right? Hubiera. Si ella hubiera llevado su cartera, habría. Hubiera, habría, hubiera, habría, hubiera, habría. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> all right, very good. That's the, way, that's the way I memorize stuff. You see, we all learn from each other. Yes. All right, I'm going to keep it. <laughs> These guys that I'm doing is a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. So, for example, cheat, um, cheat. those little things that you used when you were at the university or at school for you to cheat on the test, those were cheat sheets. I didn't do that. I, I don't know. I don't know that. I never. <laughs> <laughs> I, believe I believe all of you. Is, right. is cheat. 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 Uh -huh. cheat, cheat. Cheat sheet. Cheat sheet is a copy. Yes, but be careful. <laughs> be careful of saying sheet. Extend the yeah. Yes. Because if you say shit, it's something else. All right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm, I'm loving this class, guys. I'm learning. I'm having fun. <laughs> so, si Ana no hubiera olvidado su cartera, ella... Habría estado en el avión ahorita, right? Yes. Finally. Thank you very much. You see, my, my cheat sheet is working. Now, who can translate? So I'm not the only one suffering right now. <laughs> who can translate the second one? If Anna hadn't forgotten her purse, she would be on the, on the plane? She would be on the plane. Yeah. Right now? Yes. And what about the second one? How, how can you translate that to Spanish? Si Ana fuera más organizada, ella no estuviera... Buscando sus llaves ahora. All right, give me a second, because in that case we have... Hubiera and Aria, right? Yes, yes. So, Good teacher. Yeah, I, I have my cheat sheet right here. <laughs> so, si Ana hubiera... Si don't, Más organizada, ella habría, bueno, ella no estaría, no estaría. buscando su Ajá, yes, yes, no estaría. All right, so it's, y era, 
Yeah, right? Yes. Got it. Man, this class is wonderful. I'm learning, not you. <laughs> well, I hope you're learning too. All right, so as you can see, guys, we have different things. B plus some complement and B plus ing because, as I mentioned before, many, many times we cannot have two verbs together. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue with this, guys. I want you to, to talk. Let's try to speak for the rest of the, give me just a second. I don't want you to see me drinking water. So I'm going to block my camera. Um, I wanted to please talk about the things that you regret. All right. And try to use this structure. For example, um, if I had, you can also use where. All right. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm still alive. Just if you were wondering. All right. Something I regret, guys, is that if I were if I were being, you can use that. If I were being more intelligent in the past, I would be in a better position right now. Why? Because um, sometimes I feel that I wasted a lot of time. I didn't take advantage of something I had in the past. But hey, I mean, that's a learning process. I kind of regret, but I'm glad because that has brought me where I am. Okay? So I wanted to please be able to talk about something you regret. Let's start with something emotional, then we can go to something happier. All right? Any questions? <laughs> Any questions? No, right now. Good. So do me a favor, guys. Talk as much as you can. I'm going to open the break rooms right now. Okay. Do your best. Open up. Uh, accept the invite, please. Okay. I'm going to be checking your progress. Talk about regret using mixed conditional. Mm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how regret. Regret something that you did or you didn't do in the past that now affects your affects your present or your future. Because remember, we can mix conditionals a lot. For example. Um, if I if I have no if if I have had if I have no if you don't know how to say it I'm I'm gonna allow it for a minute if you don't know how to say it in English try to say it in Spanish or or get more details for the rest of the group to help you out. Okay. Uh, if I have studied with um, discipline, uh -huh. uh, I I will have my my how do you say titulo? My diploma, my degree. My, my degree, my degree. Diploma is physically. Degree is, is actually no, your degree. My degree. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, good. And give more information about it. The rest of you guys ask questions. So we can have a real conversation, not just a sentence. Okay, okay. Um. For example, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm, I'm so sorry. 
a question you can ask is, what were you studying? And you can use other, other tenses. This is just about speaking. What were you studying? And I, 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 I am studying business uh, administration. Okay, great. Where? Uh, okay. Where? Um, I, I was, uh, I studied in, in Matias College. Okay, or Ma Matias University, you can say. Matias, yeah. Matias University. Mm -hmm. And I, I lost a lot of time. Um, you lost I, or you wasted? I waste. I waste my time, my time and my energy and my money. <laughs> um, it happens. All right. Thank do, you. Do so you much. have do, do you have a a idiom when, for para para decir um, eh, como cuando uno es joven no tiene experiencia o algo así. <laughs> I know one, but it's totally informal, and I can't say in a, in a class. I, I can't teach you that. But let me go ahead and, and look for one. In the meantime, okay. guys, this is not about Rodrigo and I. This is about you talking. Okay. I have a, an example. <clears throat> uh, if I had practiced my English before, I had a good accent right now. I would have. Oh, sorry. I, I yes. Yeah. Sorry, I forget the model. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. That's good. I would have. I will. A... I will have a good accent right now. Okay. Very good. That's a great example, guys. Go ahead and ask Freddie. So, what happened? Didn't you like it? Come on. I need you to start asking a lot of questions. <laughs> okay. Now, how do you consider your accent? Mm. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Good. I have to practice a lot and a lot and a lot. How to con, con how to consider uh, mm. is is um, is a good practice to improve your your accent or your skills. Mm. Ah, okay. Um, ¿Qué consideras tú? Maybe. Is that the yeah. is that what you want to say? Ah, oh, all right, yeah. very good. What do you consider? What, what do you consider? Did, what do you consider? It's a good practice. It's a good practice to improve your skills. There you go. Well, um, from one to ten, maybe five. I I am self demanding. Okay. All right, but he's he's that's a good answer, Freddie. But he's actually asking you. I mean, what are you considered are good practices like recommendations? Oh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Recommendation to improve. to improve. Oh well, for example, you can listen music in English. Obviously, you can watch movies totally in English. Um, maybe you can start with the title, subtitles. Subtitles. Titles. Mm -hmm. Oh, subtitles, and then when you feel more confident with myself. With, with yourself, yourself uh, mm -hmm. with yourself, uh, you can practice without the subtitle. Okay, and you know a uh, website? Web, website. Uh, a, a website? Um, mm, I don't have a specific way to website, but for example, in YouTube, I every day uh, watch whatever video about it. And I have my own uh, notebook of vocabulary. And notebook, notebook, notebook with the word that I can learn that I feel that is very important. Mm. Okay, good job, good participation. Now let's go ahead and. I, I have another there you sentence. Go. Oh, and by the way, before before you start, I found an idiom. I just posted on the on the group. Not playing with a full deck. Being stupid. Okay. The old Mrs. Whitehead was not playing with a full deck when she bought that fancy land mower. So Okay, okay. That one. 
All right, Lourdes, go with your example. Let me check how you play with the food. Uh, if I had. The board, more than marbles. Wow. And they mentioned it. Um, mentioned. Mentioned China or the, the that ruins in Mexico. And oh. the, the seven, the seven yeah, marbles, the seven, the seven modern, modern marbles. And I, I, <clears throat> I thought I went to uh, the great China yeah. great, great, wall? Great, wall great wall of China. China. Yes. Yes. Without buying by with so my credit card. So it was a, it, it is a thing I, I appreciate a lot of my work. Because oh. of my work, yes. Because of my, that, that'll be, Nidia, because of my job. Because of my job, okay, thank you. That'll be the noun, because of my work, that will be because of your effort, not because oh. of your employer. It is true, true. So because of but my it's because work. of my job is the correct way. All right, very good. <clears throat> All right, continue, guys. Try to ask a bunch of questions to everyone. What? And I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Try to ask a bunch of questions. A bunch, oh. of, a lot. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And you, Eduardo, what do you... Regret that I... <laughs> no, no, I regret, like. no. What <laughs> are you grateful? Did you change to grateful already? Because that was the next yes. question I yes. had. Yes, okay. we are ungrateful right now. Well, I'm grateful... To of um, a lucky strike in my university is kind of funny uh, well i have a, i have a teacher a very very evil teacher me <laughs> That's like, mm -hmm. yes. That's not me. you teacher not yes. you no 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 not at all you better uh, <laughs> uh, with he he touch us uh, he teach us sorry he, he teaches, Talk. but it depends. Nos enseña o nos enseñó? Well, it's still, it's, oh, it's so still giving case. class, but not to me. Uh, in so that case, he, he, taught, uh, he, taught, he us. taught us in past, or he teaches us like it's currently happening. Oh, mm -hmm. no, he taught, he taught us. Uh, Lo voy a decir en español, lo siento. Eh, derecho tributario. And he was very mean. Very... Eh, I don't know, it's kind of... Uh, people with... Uh, with a personality... Very, very, very difficult. Very difficult to, 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 to try to talk about it. And, uh, well... Okay. Uh, hearing, studying, and learning from him was very, wasn't very, very, very pleasant. Well, several months uh, in her class, in his class, he said to me, "Hey, he hey," told me. he told me, "Sorry, uh, hey, I, I have an, I have a job for you." Um, say. What? Uh, yes, I have a job for you. You are very. You, 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 you are a very. Sorry, I. Don't worry. Didn't you're, work. You're doing uh, your best, and that, I that's what the I work. Like. Uh, say me. Soy muy terco. Stubborn. Much. Stubborn. Stubborn. Mm -hmm. oh, and by the way, I have tax law or taxation law, derecho tributario. Mm -hmm. Tax law, tax law, that's right. Uh, you are very stubborn. And I want to be the first um, financial, uh, financial assess assessor, bueno, el asesor financiero personalizado for my, for my clients. And it was a very good pay. It was a I very see. good money. <laughs> and that's, 
I I can't believe when when he offered me a job, and well, I I took it, and uh, was uh, that was my second job. And the money was very good. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you were able to take that offer. Um, yes. But what about, <laughs> hey guys, I'm sorry, I don't want to be rude, but what about the structure? Because I didn't hear the structure we are working with. You did good trying to express your ideas. Thank you for your effort. But what about the structure? Because you took it, right? So yes. You, for example, um, si no hubiera tomado ese trabajo, la... Oh, right. That's Habría right. cometido un error. Hubiera habría, hubiera habría, hubiera habría. Habría. <laughs> right? uh -huh. So how do you say that? Si no hubiera... If yes, I hadn't uh, took the, the job, uh, I believe. Taken. Taken the job. Taken. If I hadn't... If I had, hadn't taken the job, uh -huh. I believe that... I, 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 I made be, a big mistake. I would have, correct. I would have made a big mistake. I hope I would have a big mistake. That's right. Okay, good. Now you're using the structure. All right, guys. Um, do me a favor. Keep on practicing. I still haven't heard Evelyn and, and Julia. I don't know if you, Nidia and Eduardo, if you had, but go ahead and practice. Let me check how the other team is doing. Make sure you, okay. all of you participate, guys. Everyone okay. asks a question when someone is talking. All right, so we can foster the, the, the speaking process. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Okay. okay. See you, guys. Still alive. I'll be right back. Okay. I am in the third section. Hello, I guys. To... How are you doing? Good. <laughs> I, I think so. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Very good. Um, hey, uh, listen up. I guess that you already finished talking about the things you regret, right? <laughs> yes? All right. So what I need you to do now is for you to talk about the things that you're grateful for. In the other group, things, some, things that you're grateful for. Okay. Mm -hmm. So someone said, if I hadn't taken that job, I would have made a big mistake. Why? Because that was a great opportunity. Payment was great and blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> and people started asking, what was the job about? All right. They didn't ask for how much they paid, but because they were respectful. But that's what I wanted to do, guys. I needed to use the structure that we are working with, with something that you are grateful for. Uh, can you get a, a, another example? Sure. Um, if I, well, guys, let me tell you that I was working on, in a place before starting teaching, and I thought I was doing great, but I knew that there was something better for me, and I had to take that chance. It was not something easy. It was not an easy decision, but let me tell you, if I hadn't taken that decision, I would have regret. Why? Because now I'm doing what I love. I'm helping people. I'm getting paid for something I like. I actually like to do. You got it? Okay. That, that's I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. And you can start asking questions. Yeah, really. Where did you work before? Where do you work now? What do you do? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Right? Go, guys. I just want one volunteer. Okay. Um... I know it's difficult, but not important. We have Robert, Lourdes, Vanessa, Rodrigo, Freddy. Any of you can can start. Just one. If well, okay. Anybody? I'm just waiting. Remember, I already speak English, guys. You need to practice. I'm here to well. help only. If if I had not done my half 
my high school practice in my work. At work. At work. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't be working there. Yes, no. I, I wouldn't be working there. That's good. If I hadn't done my practice hours in my current job, I wouldn't be working there. Good. I like it. So, questions for Freddy, guys. Where do you do your practice? Where did you do? Good Where did you do? Where did you do your practice? Well, um, in a hardware store. Hardware. Hardware, hardware store. Hardware store. Good. Yes, and that this is my job. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Fantastic. Um, how long have you been working there? Come on, guys. Any type of questions? Um, the word four is years. Four I have years. been working there for four years. Give full answer. Did, did, okay. did you... Sorry, Rodrigo? Oh, did, did you... Uh, do you like your, uh, your, your actual work or yes. job? Yes, I really enjoy to work there because... Enjoy um, working. Yeah. Enjoy working. Always, all the time. Enjoy plus Jaren. So say it again. Come on, say it again. I, I really enjoy working there. I really enjoy working there. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because every day um learn something new. And I don't know. I really like the things that I have to do there. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Now, Rodrigo, can you give us an example? And the rest okay. of you ask Rodrigo. Okay, if I have, um, if I have, como, como lo digo, si yo, si yo no, yo no hubiera cambiado mi actitud. If I, if I, I hadn't changed change my attitude. My, my attitude, attitude or my behavior, comportamiento. My behavior. Mm -hmm. Behavior. Behavior. I, behavior. Mm -hmm. If I hadn't Change. changed my behavior, actually, um, actually, I, I would, I would have, I wouldn't, I would haven't have. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have um, a promotion in my job. I wouldn't have gotten promoted. No hubiera, no hubiera sido promovido. I, I have... No habría, perdón. No habría sido I, promovido. I, wouldn't ha, I would have, have promoted... Gotten promoted. Gotten promoted in my job. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, wa I want to see another time. Uh, if I if I had if I had help me please. Uh -huh. uh, if I if I had changed my behavior. If I hadn't, let me go ahead and help you by typing it. Bless you. Okay, please. Uh -huh. If I hadn't. If I hadn't changed. Changed my behavior. Behavior. I wouldn't have <laughs> gotten. I wouldn't have gotten a got promotion or been. It depends. You can use get or be for this. Come on. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what did you make to change? What did you? Why did you make to change your behavior? Why did you change your behavior? Good question. Why? Uh, why? Uh, because. Or what? what? Or, or why? Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. Why? Because uh, when you wants to to improve improve your results and and in, and in, um, improve your results, and and you want to. And you want to. And you, and you want to to make uh, your your best effort. Effort. Um, 
efforts. Um, do, do you have do you have um, best um, rewards? Um, better better rewards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, better, better, better rewards. Better rewards, and you can have, you can have um, more prestige, and and a uh, and a uh, a better wages or salary. Mm -hmm. Better wages. Good. All right, Rodrigo. Do so you feel comfortable me. with your new? Huh? Tell me. Okay. Do you feel comfortable with your new behavior, or maybe you think that you have to change another thing in your life? Yeah. Yes, I I want to change. Uh, yes, yes, I I want to. I think uh, people. Um, need to change every day to improve skills, behavior, uh, relationships okay. uh, with your uh, I don't know, uh, environment. With okay, your environment. With environment with just... Every day we have to be better. Yeah. We do. We totally have to be better. All right, uh, guys. So, uh, Sorry, sorry to stop. <laughs> sorry to stop you. Now that you started talking, um, I'm gonna have to ask you to go back to the main room. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. So we're trying to get the trying trying to get the people back. This group is already here. Fantastic. We're just waiting for the other one. All right, guys. So as far, let me ask you something. Did you have a chance to practice your English? Tell me. Did you have a chance to practice your English? Yes. Yes, I did. Very good. Now remember, in some groups. Sorry, I'm still trying, kind of dying. In some groups, I didn't hear all of you talking. Remember, if you're here, it's because you have to practice. If you practice, I can help you with corrections. But if you stay quiet, you can leave the, the class without learning anything. Okay. So, oh, I appreciate you always doing your best, guys. Um, and that's what we're going to try to do in these couple of days. I'm going to try to cover the grammar part very quick. I mean, quicker than today in order for you to practice your English for the following class, for the following uh, minutes. Okay. Right. So thank you very much, guys. Remember, um, I think that for this group, there's going to be something else, like some sort of preparation. Just remember, Advanced 3 is the last one of the program, but I think there's something else for you. So make sure that you complete your, your platform, make sure that you do the exercises, send the proper paperwork, because I think there's going to be something, some more courses for you. And if you want to be taken into consideration, first, you have to complete this one and send the documentation for the next one. Okay. So guys, thank you, thank you very much one more time. My apologies for, for clearing my throat. Believe me, Don't worry, I drank Bye. like three glasses of water my, my girlfriend brought. And uh, Teacher. I'm still with her. Uh -huh. Teacher, can you write the, the idiom in the group of WhatsApp? Which one? In the WhatsApp group? Yes, uh, uh, el de perder el, el, el tiempo que estábamos hablando. I did, not playing with a full deck. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's for everyone. That pretty much, guys, is whenever you are young and dumb. <laughs> or not wise. Let's go ahead and change your dumb by not wise. You're not playing with a full deck. All right? You're okay. kind of crazy or something else. So, guys, okay. so thank you very much for being me, for being here. Thank you very much for your time and dedication. My name is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Thank you. Have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thank you. Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Get well. Thank you very much. Bye bye.